Okay, so I had to pick one of the windy days of the uh, <laughs> season, but uh, I got to get everything all going here. I've got everything all done. I got my seeds are all starting to come up inside. I've got the uh, greenhouse plus a 25 gallon hole dug already. I still got to dig one more just like that one, basically. And I've got right there where that spot is, is where the other one's going to be. So two plants I'll have in here. I've also got to dig a spot back here. I gotta have one tree or one bush back there. And I've got some fabric pots. I think I'm gonna use one of the fabric pots. Matter of fact, uh, where did I put it? There it is. But I've got uh, three more in that uh, tote down there. And I'm going to fill that one. I'm also going to fill the other three probably that are down there. Hold on to that soil for this season. I might do part of my garden in some uh, fabric pots. But I've already started. I want to get my soils mixed already. So I've actually went out got a good deal on the Sunshine 4 with Mycorrhiza. And uh, the Sunshine 4 mixed with the Natural Organic Cocoa Light. So I'm adding those to my uh, grow this year, which I didn't have last year. I believe I had a, uh, instead of the Pro Mix, I had the miracle Grow All-Purpose Potting Mix, which this year I'm going with the Pro Mix. And I'm still going with the Bone Meal and the Blood Meal. I got the Sulfur Dust. I've got the uh, Epsom Salt, which is the magnesium, magnesium Sulfite. I've also got my pelletized limestone this year I went with a bigger bag of the hen manure and same size bag of the worm castings and basically like it says the microza and the natural organic cocoa light is new this year so I'm also going to be taking and adding some leaves that I've gathered for compost and some of the stuff out of the garden I have to lower it so I'm gonna move some of the dirt that I took out of the hole, move it to the one side, take from the bottom what I need, cover the rest back over. Also take some leaves and all that. Probably take them and bury them in the bottom of the pot and the bottom of the holes and uh, call it a, a, a day basically for that. Actually, it's gonna be a lot more in an A day, but so yeah so i've already started i've already opened one bag of the uh mix four with microsia and i am about to open some other stuff and get this mixing going so let's get started
really need a whole lot of sulfur, but put some in any. It only needs trace elements. Let me put this on pause. I'll be back in a second in a jiffy because I got to go get me some compost from the garden. All right, so, I'm looking over the top of the garden. So I have got some really nice loamy, real nice loamy. Got some nice big fat worms in there. All down in there. So basically down in that hole, some nice composted soils, and I've got a lot of leaf, all that on the top, so like I said, I'm going to take what I need from open the hole, and probably head that way a bit, get as much compost as I can to add to this pile over here. So I'm going to do that, be right back with you in just a moment. So, I've only well got two wheel barrels jumped on here of composted soil. I'm going to put uh, do one more 
that pretty well should match the pile of the soils that I bought. And uh, yeah, be right back after I get this last uh, wheelbarrow full. Alright, I'm back. I got the pile now over there. I just got it. So it was mixed good. I'll probably do a couple more. Makes sense before I slap it into the wheelbarrow and the bins. But basically, yeah, once it's thoroughly mixed, everything looks pretty well the same. It's not dark on one side and light on the other, so it's all blended together. So if I go around this pile, it should all look pretty well the same. No dark spots. Even underneath because I dug from the center and poured it outwards. So, matter of five, ten minutes of mixing, it's all good. And once you go to mix it, throw it in the buckets in the hole, you're going to still end up mixing it again by picking it up, throwing it in the container, then from the container back over into the hole. So, yeah, that's pretty well it for me for today. I'll load this stuff into the hole, the containers, wrap up the tarp. Put it over top of the soil that I'm not uh, using right away and uh, call it a day. All right, till next video. Please like, like, press like, 
you want to subscribe see more videos of this you know what i mean subscribe and you'll be able to go right to the videos you'll be able to see them when they pop up so yeah till next video okay guys we're out of here